Sometimes the biggest results come from the smallest changes. Ranchers spend thousands on feed, supplements, and treatments, but there's one simple adjustment that can skyrocket growth in fattening cattle. Most people never do it because it feels too easy. Today, I'll expose the tiny change that creates massive growth. And once you see the numbers, you'll realize you can't afford to ignore it. Picture two pens, side by side, same genetics, same ration, same management on paper. One pen finishes earlier, cattle look fuller, coats glossy, manure consistent, and the scale keeps confirming it. The other pen lags, animals sort feed, you see more panting on warm afternoons, and gains stall. You tweak the ration, add a touch of fat, bump a mineral here or there, nothing sticks. What if the difference is not inside the bunk at all? Before I reveal it, think about what touches every bite of feed, every gram of muscle, every rumen microbe, every single day. It costs little, it is everywhere, and yet, if it is wrong, nothing else works right. Ready? It is water. Clean, cool, abundant water, delivered fast and easy, is the simplest change that can unlock bigger average daily gain in fattening cattle. And the worst part is, almost nobody treats water like a feed input, but it is. Why water rules growth, in plain words, feed intake follows water intake. When cattle drink well, they eat well, rumen microbes thrive, and gains climb. If they hesitate to drink, even a perfect ration underperforms. Heat stress multiplies the effect. Warm cattle crave more water to cool the body. If the water is hot, dirty, or slow to access, they back off feed and growth drops. The rumen is a fermentation vat. Microbes need water to move, mix, and digest. Without enough fresh water, fiber sits, acid builds, and cattle feel off. You may see sorting, inconsistent manure, and slower gain. Here is the kicker. Many producers believe they have good enough water. A clear trough does not guarantee good performance. Taste temperature, flow rate, access space, travel distance, and mineral load all matter. Have you ever noticed several steers crowd one trough while another stands quiet? Even though both look clean, cattle vote with their tongues. If they do not like the water, they will not drink enough. And if they do not drink enough, they cannot grow fast. Let's get practical. The simple change you can make this week is to upgrade water access and quality with five moves. Clean, cool, easy, fast, and safe. Make water a priority and watch the gains follow. Clean the non-negotiable scrub troughs frequently, algae and slime build faster than you think, especially in warm weather. When biofilm coats the surface, cattle sense it, reduce visits, and shift to fewer larger bouts of drinking, which stresses the rumen, drain and rinse fully. Not just a quick splash on top, sediment, feed finds, and manure carry off flavors that turn cattle away, keep the pad around the trough dry and level. Mud discourages timid animals and spreads bacteria back into the water. Have you ever pushed fresh feed, then watched cattle hesitate at the water, sniff and walk away? In a moment, I will explain a quick taste test you can do yourself without fancy gear to catch this early. Cool, because temperature drives thirst. Shade the waters. A simple roof or shade cloth can drop water temperature by several degrees, which improves palatability and increases drinking. Avoid dark, shallow troughs in direct sun. They heat fast, if possible, choose insulated or light-colored materials. Bury supply lines where you can. Cooler incoming water, especially in the afternoon, keeps cattle visiting more often. Think of it this way. When you are hot and tired, Lukewarm water is unappealing. Cattle feel the same. A few degrees cooler can mean more sips, more feed, more gain. Easy because access beats intention, provide more than one drinking spot per pen when feasible. A second access point reduces bossing 
and lets timid animals drink calmly. Shorten walking distance between feed and water while keeping the pad clean. Long treks waste energy, reduce visits, and discourage smaller cattle. Give enough linear space for multiple heads to drink at once. If the dominant few block the trough, the rest wait or quit. You might be thinking, I cannot rebuild my entire pen. You do not need to. Even a short extension of trough length or moving a portable waterer closer to the bunk can change behavior immediately. In a moment, I will share a ranch example that cut days on feed with nothing more than a second waterer and a bit of shade. Fast, because flow rate is your hidden bottleneck check valve and line size. Undersized valves, choke refill, especially during peak demand right after feeding or on hot afternoons. Watch the refill time when a group drinks. If the water level drops and takes a long time to recover, you are training cattle to give up, maintain floats and screens. A partially blocked screen can have flow without looking obvious. Imagine a highway funneling into a single narrow lane, traffic slows, tempers rise, and some drivers reroute. The same happens at a slow trough. You will see budding, splashing, and then, crucially, less total water intake over the day. Safe because taste and minerals matter test water at least once a year for total dissolved solids, sulfates, nitrates, and iron. High mineral load can suppress intake and in some cases, harm calves or interfere with mineral absorption. Smell and taste the water yourself. If you would not drink it, do not expect cattle to love it. Off odors, metallic taste, or sulfur hints are red flags. Check for stray voltage. Faulty grounding can give cattle a tiny shock at the trough. They cannot explain it. They just avoid it. Quick field test you can do today. Fill two clean buckets, one with your trough water, one with bottled or filtered water. Offer both to a couple of animals at the same time and watch which they choose. If they consistently choose the cleaner source, you just found free performance sitting on the table. In a moment, I will show you how to put a dollar value on that choice. Real world example. A panhandle finisher named Sam ran big efficient pens and swore his water was fine. He fed a strong ration, kept bunks tight, and still felt stuck. On a hunch, he added a second water to each of his warmest pens, stretched a strip of shade cloth above both, and set a strict scrub schedule. Within a couple of weeks, cattle visited water more often, sorted less, and manure consistency improved. By the end of the turn, he shaved several days off time on feed. He did not change the ration at all. The only change was water access and quality. Another case, a small family yard in the southeast battled sulfur taste and summer algae. They installed a simple sand filter, shifted to light-colored troughs and taught the teenage son to scrub on a set rotation. Gains picked up, pulls dropped in late summer, and the family laughed about how the cheapest fix beat the fanciest supplement. Common mistakes to avoid ignoring water because it looks clear. Taste and temperature count and minerals do not show by sight. One trough for a crowded pen. Dominance and slow flow steel intake from the timid, black poly tanks in full sun. They cook water like tea by mid-afternoon. Long distances between feed and water, cattle pay for those extra steps with energy and time, mixing bitter medications directly in open waters, you may fix one problem and create another when cattle avoid the trough. Skipping scrub days when you are busy. Biofilm builds silently, then performance slips and you blame the ration. Good practices backed by science and seasoned hands, treat water as a feed. Track it on your checklist, just like you track feed delivery and bunk reads. Keep a log of scrubs, valve checks, and flow rate observations. Small habits turn into big results. Pair water upgrades with heat stress management. Shade, air movement, and dust control. Keep cattle comfortable and drinking regularly. Balance minerals thoughtfully. 
high sulfur or iron in water, can tie up copper and other trace minerals. Your nutritionist can adjust the mineral package once you know your water profile. For large operations, standardize. Same float type, same gaskets, same cleaning tools, so the team fixes issues fast. How big is the payoff? Let's do friendly math without getting fancy. If better water nudges average daily gain up even a little, that small bump compounds across the entire group. A modest increase in gain, multiplied by many days on feed, equals meaningful weight at market. Then picture fewer days to finish, lower overhead per head, and less heat stress pull. You do not need a miracle, you need consistent sips, all day long. And here is the twist, water work often pays immediately. You do not wait for a crop to grow or a product to ship. Scrub today, shade today, fix a float today, and by tomorrow afternoon, you can see cattle visiting more often. Have you ever wanted a quick win, you can feel by the end of the week? This is it. Step-by-step -step plan, you can start this week. Day 1, walk every trough. Smell, taste, and check temperature with your hand. Watch how fast water refills under steady flow. Day 2, deep clean and set a scrub schedule. Put it on the wall with names and dates. Accountability wins. Day 3, add shade to the hottest troughs. Even a simple tarp, secured safely, buys you cooler water. Day 4, improve access. If you can, add a second drinking spot, extend trough length or move a portable water closer to the bunk. Day 5, test water for minerals. Your local extension, vet, or a reputable lab can help keep results on file for your nutritionist. Day 6, fix the flow. Clean screens, right-size valves, and check for leaks. Day 7, observe quietly. Count visits after feeding, during peak heat, and late evening. More visits, calmer cattle, steadier manure. That is your proof. For small producers, a single, clean shaded trough near the feeding area, with reliable flow, is a big upgrade. Keep a scrub brush hanging from the post so the habit sticks. Rotate pasture waters away from manure traffic lanes, and level the area so cattle are not standing in mud. If your water tastes off to you, fix it. Activated carbon filters and simple settlement tanks can work wonders. For large producers, standardize and scale. Identify hot spot pens that underperform in late summer and prioritize shade and a second trough there first. Train the team to watch refill time and timid animal access. Empower them to call out problems and fix them fast. Kai water checks into daily bunk reads. If intake drops, check water before you blame the ration. One more nugget because this is so often missed. Stray voltage can be a silent killer of intake. If cattle step to drink, flinch and pull back, or if you notice unexplained avoidance of a perfectly clean trough, get a qualified electrician to test and ground the system. A tiny tingle to you can be a big no-go for cattle. And here is your mini challenge. Over the next three days, Pick one pen and implement the clean, cool, easy, fast, safe checklist. Then compare behavior manure consistency and bunk calls to a similar pen. If you see more frequent drinks, calmer cattle, and steadier intakes, you just found your compounder of growth. Before we wrap, remember this simple truth. Feed drives growth, but water drives feed. When you raise the quality, access and attractiveness of water, you lift everything else with it. Fattening cattle are athletes of digestion, and champions need great hydration, not just great meals. If this helped you spot a weak link in your yard, I want you in our community. Subscribe to Biggest Bulls and Tio because here we share practical proven moves that make real weight. Drop a comment with your experience or your water challenges, what has worked for you, what surprised you, what you are trying this week. Share this video with a neighbor who fights summer slumps or slow gains, you might save them weeks on feed.
We are here to grow together as responsible cattle producers, learning from science, from the field, and from each other. Join us, subscribe, and let's keep building better herds, one smart change at a time.